Hello folks, welcome back. My name's Lee Townsend and today's video, by recent standards, is a little bit of a different one because the last seven or eight weeks have been almost exclusively acoustic covers and that's just purely because I've been that manically busy in my day-to-day -day life since the beginning of the summer um, that I haven't had time to throw together a loop cover or a tutorial or anything like that purely because they take longer to set up, longer to record and a lot longer to edit than just a one-take acoustic cover with one camera angle. So that's been the reasoning for that lately. But over the past week, I've sort of been thinking about how things used to be on this channel back in 2015, 2016, when I first started sort of being a bit more consistent and posting videos regularly and things like that. And we used to regularly have these little chats or I'd make vlog videos and stuff. And they never performed very well with regards to views and things like that. But that's not really why I started this channel. When I started YouTube, it was purely so that I could showcase what I was up to, my thoughts on things and play a few covers. And also so that I could use it as promo for my day job, which I'm a musician by day or by night, I should say. And I needed somewhere to put videos showing me performing the song so that I could give it to potential clients or bars or hotels or wherever I was going to play. So obviously that quickly gained traction when people started latching onto the loop thing and then I did a few tutorials and then the subscriber base built up and we're now sort of approaching 11,000 subscribers, which is mental. I never imagined having that many subscribers on YouTube. So if you are subscribed, thank you so much for doing that. It really means a lot. And I sort of feel like I should give back to those of you who are subscribed for the tutorials and things, which leads me on to my first request from you guys. If you are subscribed, leave a comment in the comment section down below letting me know what made you subscribe in the first place. Because I'm interested to know what sort of percentage of my subscribers are here for the guitar tutorials and the loop tutorials and things like that, as opposed to the ones that are here just to enjoy my covers and enjoy the music or whatever I'm doing. Um, so I'm just interested to see that. And yeah, so that's my first request. So as I said, I've been really busy since the beginning of the summer. For those of you who don't know, my full-time job, my main income comes from playing live. Uh, and I play a lot of weddings over here on the south coast of Spain, which is where I live. And by October this year, I'll have done about 120, 130 gigs and 50 of those will have been weddings. So it's been crazy busy and I've been catching up on all of these events and weddings and things that have been pushed back because of COVID. Some of the ones that I'm doing were booked way back in 2019 um, and they're only just getting round to coming over here, having the wedding and having my band play or me by myself. Um, so it's been mad busy. And aside from that, also this year, I've been putting together a new band called Gecko Blaster. And I've spoken about Gecko Blaster a little bit on the channel so far, a few months ago. And that's going really well now. We've done three live gigs and now we've played together a little bit in a live situation. We're starting to gel more as musicians. Two of the guys in the band I didn't really know very well before we started playing together. Um, the drummer's my brother, so I've known him since he was born, actually. Um, but the keyboard player and the bass player I barely knew. So getting to know them and getting to gel with new musicians has been really interesting. And having a keyboard player, which is something I've never had in a band before, has allowed me to kind of back off a little bit on the guitar or play sort of more intricate things or maybe a little bit cleaner 
um, since I got the SE Silver Sky, which I did a video on. If you haven't seen that, you can go and watch my review on the PRS SE Silver Sky by clicking the card above. Um, and aside from Gecko Blaster, my daughter's two years old now. When did I become a dad of a two-year-old? It's a bit mad, but um, some of you might remember her from the video of Afterglow by Ed Sheeran that I did on the day that it came out. I think December 2020 that was. Um, and it's the most viewed video on this YouTube channel. So I guess a lot of you will have seen that video. Um, and thanks if you have added to the 350,000 views that that video has had, which is completely mind-blowing. I don't know how that happened. Um, so over the past week or two weeks, I've been thinking a lot about where this YouTube channel's heading. Because back in the day, as I say, 2015, 2016, I used to really want to do more sort of vlog videos and be a bit more creative with it and not get so stuck in the rut of just playing music on this channel. But it quickly became a music-centric channel. So I think making it focused on music and guitar is the way forward with this. And I do think that most of the subscribers that I've got are here for that. As I said, let me know in the comments uh, why you subscribed, what made you subscribe in the first place. Um, so obviously I will keep doing the guitar and loop covers and I'll keep doing the tutorials because a lot of them are quite popular as well. But I can see myself also doing a few gear reviews if you're here for the guitar stuff. There's loads of equipment that I use on a daily basis that I've never featured on the channel. And I'd like to talk about a little bit and go over how I use them and why I use them and things like that. So I can see that becoming a thing. And also a few videos about doing music as a profession, I think could be quite interesting for anybody that wants to get into using music as their means to live in, to earn a living. Um, so again, if anyone's got any questions about that, you can let me know in the comments and I'll make videos on that stuff. If I think I can make a full video out of something, one of your ideas, then uh, it'll be coming in the future. Um, but also another thing that I'd like to do is a few more collaborations as well. You might remember, I think last year I did a couple of collaboration videos with various musicians um, so I'd like to bring a few more of them to you as well with regards to the performance side. But also, if I find anybody who I think is interesting enough to make like a podcast episode and do a bit of a chat, a back and forth conversation on the channel. Uh, so it's not just me talking into a camera. I think that could be interesting. They they could give their point of view or their yeah their views on what they do, what I do or what they think about music and the music industry and depending on what sector of the industry they're in that might bring some value to you guys and that is essentially what this is all about if we're doing music and guitar and keeping it centric and focused then I need to provide some kind of value to you guys as a thanks for subscribing and spending the time watching these videos because you know otherwise why are you subscribed why would you watch these videos if you weren't getting anything back out of it so Something that I've been thinking about for a little while is starting up a Patreon page. Um, and I don't want to sort of make it look like I'm just trying to pull money out of my subscribers because that's not the case at all. I would never sort of urge somebody to sign up to Patreon if I didn't think they were going to get any value out of the content on there. And I've signed up for Patreon, but I've not made it open to you guys yet. Uh, nobody can sign up because I don't feel like I can provide enough value on that platform just yet, especially not while I'm so busy doing what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I want to be able to put sort of behind-the-scenes content, set up videos or whatever. I don't know. I've not really completely figured it out yet, which is also another reason why I've not made it live. But what I have done is I've started a Discord server, which is is a place where you can have direct contact with me. You can message me direct on Discord and ask me questions and things like that. So what I am going to do before launching the Patreon, and I've done this already, um, and there's only two people other than myself in the Discord server so far because I put a little post out a few months ago on my YouTube channel in the discussion section, and they were the only two people that reached out and signed up. But if anybody is interested in joining my Discord server, you can let me know in the comments below this video and I'll send you an invite link. And eventually this Discord server is going to be patron only. So you'll only be able to get access if you sign up to my Patreon. 
But for the first, I've not really decided how many, but I'll say 20 or 30 people, I'll give you early bird access, which will mean that you'll have full access to the Patreon. Um, the Patreon. You'll have full access to the Discord server for life. You'll never be kicked out when Patreon goes live or anything like that. You'll be in it as an early bird, as one of the first people to join my Discord server. So as I say, if you're interested in that, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll send you an invite link and you can jump on and uh, come and say hello and ask some questions and stuff. So finally, before I go, something else that I was thinking about that I used to really enjoy doing back in the day on this channel was my Q&A videos that I used to do. I don't know if anybody remembers any of my Q&A videos that I used to do. Um, and I thought I'd like to do another one of them again. So if you've made it to the end of the video, thank you. You're amazing. But also, if you've got any questions about anything whatsoever, um, how I earn a full-time living out of playing music or any of the gear that I use, any of the setup or anything like that, let me know in the comments. Leave a question and add the hashtag AskLee, A-S-K-L-E-E, -E, and I will feature that in a Q&A video if I get enough questions to warrant that video. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this and listening to me ramble for a little bit. It's been a while since we've had a chat. And if you're not yet subscribed and you're interested in music and guitar-related YouTube content, please consider doing so by clicking the subscribe link below. And you can also hit the thumbs up if you like this video and hit the bell icon so that you get alerts when I upload new videos. Other than that, you can follow me on the other social networks and things. My username is Tweed Nelson across the board. And thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being part of the community. And I'll catch you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.